Hi, it's Michelle Birdsong, Mild Red Songbird, coming from New York City. The name of this video is Meghan Markle Decoded. Okay, that's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, now they're called. Okay, let's get these similarities. Meghan Markle Decoded. Robin Birdsong wanted to be an actress as a child. She changed her mind. Meghan Markle became an actress. Robin Birdsong had a close acquaintance with His Royal Highness Guillaume Crown Prince of Luxembourg. Meghan Markle married a prince. Robin is a Leo. Meghan was born a Leo. Let me just show you this uh, Crown Prince of Guillaume thing I'm talking about. This is our book, Sneezy the Greasy Babysits Abigail by Michelle Birdsong, Mal Red Songbird, and Robin Birdsong. Okay, so we put this book out a long time ago. And on the back of it, it says, a portion of the proceeds from this book will be donated to the Kreitzberg Foundation in Luxembourg, dedicated to serving the needs of the disabled. To donate, go to www.crossenberg.lu or send a check here and here and here. Okay. I thought I had a picture. I do have a picture somewhere. Well, let me continue these similarities. And you tell me what they mean. Okay. Okay, so you understand that that charity was His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Guillaume, Crown Prince of Luxembourg, a friend of Robin's. Okay, so anyway, Megan married her royal friend. So, indeed, Robin persuaded me to agree to share some of the proceeds from the sale of our book, Sneezes a Greasy Baby, it's Abigail to his charity, Crotts. Foundation in Luxembourg because it reminded her of her nephew Avery and then I decoded Avery Avenue her eyes her eye her is I I is Eve okay so these words have messages for Eve also known as she also known as her also known as I also known as me okay so her nephew had learning uh, disabilities. He was learning disabled. And now he has transitioned from that form, meaning he died. Sad to say for his mother, Lamonia. So Robin had visited the grounds of the charity and was impressed with how much they were able to teach the disabled. Okay, show pages from Work in Progress, Black Lives Matter. Okay, this is Black Lives Matter. Now, what am I talking about? Show pages, let's see. Let me turn the pages. Okay, this is it. This is what I wanted to show you. Elizabeth won. You see, what I've done is, not only what Socrates said to do, which I was Socrates, so I gave myself some clues as to what to do, and uh, know thyself. I know many of myself. I have time traveled back and discovered who I was in other lives and who some of my family members were, especially Robin, because she was my daughter this life. Okay, so that's uh, so Elizabeth I, Queen of England, who was Empress, who was Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, great great grandmother of present Queen Elizabeth II. Okay, what does that say? Oh, is black or er, brown? Be crowned. Okay, I decoded lives, black lives matter. I decoded lives. 
will, L stands for will, I, Victoria, Queen Energy Source, will I, I will, Victoria, okay, that's what lives mean, Queen Victoria, Energy Source, okay, let's continue. Okay, so Queen Victoria was also an Empress of India. That was another of her title. Robin Birdsong is Cherokee Indian on her father's side. She's Lakota Sioux on her mother's side. Okay, I decoded side. C-I-G energy. Okay, face is not shown. George... Percy, that's the Earl, George Earl. And Robin Birdsong's face is now shown. She doesn't want any part of this. You know, she doesn't want to know her past lives. She doesn't want to know that she was Queen Victoria and Elizabeth I, Queen of England. She has no desire to know this, but I can't help but know it because I love truth. Okay, this is what I was telling you about Guillaume. That's Guillaume, His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Guillaume, and that's Robin. And that's uh, me, her mother. What does it say? Fun and... Ex oh, this book I wrote. How to have a fun... And this was a really long time ago, too. How to have a fun and exciting life starting from scratch. And that's the cover of the book. And it says who we all are. Uh, Robin Birdsong, Crown Prince Guillaume of Luxembourg, and Mild Red songbird. Robin Birdsong was Elizabeth I, Virgin Queen of England. That's a picture. That's not Robin, of course. That's just the likeness of the Virgin Queen, Elizabeth. So she was, Robin Birdsong was Queen Victoria, Empress of India wife of Albert, Prince Consort, now George Percy. Do I have a picture of him? No, this is what I said. His face cut off when I took the picture. Okay. From a picture. Okay. Okay, George per Earl Percy is a businessman. Robin was Galileo. The Italian, she was... He was an Italian polymath, whatever that is. He discovered Europa, Ganymede. Don't hold me on these pronunciations because I don't have phonics, so I don't really pronounce things correctly all the time. But that's why I'm showing you. You can pronounce it correctly if you know the correct pronunciation. Okay, Lo, she was, he, Galileo discovered the rings of Saturn. Robin Birdsong was Michelangelo. That's why she likes museums. She goes to all the museums all the time because she was Michelangelo. See, I could tell her that, and that would help her to understand herself, but she doesn't want to know. Okay. So you can know, and I know. Robin Birdsong was Michelangelo, an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. His notable work was David Pieta, The Last Judgment, Note, this is the last judgment. We're starting permanent heaven on earth. Michelangelo is famous for a wonder of the world, the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Movement of Michelangelo was high renaissance. Robin was also St. Francis of Assisi. I'll have a picture right here. That's St. Francis of Assisi. I live in a residence called St. Francis. And remember this, Jesus Christ told me there is no such thing as a coincidence. Okay, so you can't talk all this up to coincidence. It's not. It's truth. Okay. When he told me that, it, it, was, it was so helpful because every time somebody arrives at a truth, they say, well, it could be a coincidence and they just lost their truth. You know, it, there's no such thing. All right. And so Robin was Voltaire. I read his book, Candide. And uh, when I was in college and I liked the ending, I said that on another video too. 
then Robin was a friend of uh, His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince Guillaume. I said that already. Okay, so now what else? Okay, so this is Queen Victoria and Albert, Prince Consort, her husband. Melanie Spear. Oh, I got that from up there. Queen Victoria, right in their shells. Okay. Melanie Spear, Robin's sister, was Christopher Columbus, who discovered a new world for the Christians to celebrate and practice their religion in peace. Okay, Robin was a missionary. Robin's sister, Melanie Murphy. I mean, Melanie Spear, she used to be Melanie. Melanie Spear was also St. Patrick the primary patron saint of Ireland. She was also a witch burned at the stake. John Henry was her man. He was an African-American folk hero, a steel-driving man. Okay, I'm just telling you about Robin. That's um, Queen Victoria, and that's her servant. If you see the movie Victoria and Abdul, it's quite a charmer. I, I def definitely recommend it to anybody. It's so so much fun watching. This is Prince Albert. Is that what he's called? No, Albert, Prince Consort. And this is Queen Elizabeth II. She was Ruth in the Bible. That's Prince Philip. He was Sir Lancelot. Okay, I don't know her. This is Princess Kate. And the new baby, Louis. I don't know, is he Prince Louis? I don't know what the, his title was. This is Galileo. This is, I think that's Michelangelo. This is Dr. Seuss. Robin was also Dr. Seuss. She wrote the rhyme for the sneezy, the greasy baby says Abigail book. It's excellent. It's seamless. She did so well. What a great book. The illustrations are fantastic. Well, I'll show it to you again. Look at this book. Look at those illustrations. T.J. Robshaw did them. Look at Sneezy. <laughs> did you ever see anything so grotesque? And his little girl, his babysitting, Abigail. That's my granddaughter, Jindara. And look at that what she's got to put up with. Oh, my God. <laughs> So that's a good book. It's only seven dollars and thirty-two cents on Amazon. You can you could buy it for your grandchildren. Okay, so uh, did I read all that? Yeah, I read all that. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. This is now that's Voltaire. As I recall, in that book Candide, which I recommend. It was about an optimist who kept getting disillusioned. It was really good. This is um, Michelangelo's work, some of his work. That's just a copy of Sneezy. It's so dark you can't see it. Okay, Gorinda Singh Dillon, singer, who has mastered death. Satan is a death angel. Those who follow him will surely die. Satan. Stevie Wonder. Adam converted to being good because he wants to reunite with Eve, a follower of good, of God. Okay, so these are some things that I will show you the proof as we move along. Okay, that's on Govinda Singh. He was also, Radhasami means Lord of the Soul. He's Lord of his soul. He has mastered his mind, which is the most difficult thing to do in the world. Whoa. Okay, you still recording, camera? Uh-oh. I don't think it's still recording. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Oh, I find technology so difficult to comprehend. The men... I was Tesla in another life. Could you believe it? Because in this, in this life, I'm a female and I'm all thumbs. That's Robin's father. Edwin Birdsong. That's our album, What It Is. Okay, I'm getting off the track. Let me go back to making Markle being deco decoded. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, Robin, these are the similarities. These are, uh, yeah, similarities. Okay. Uh, Robin called me up on the phone. She lives in London. Megan lives in London now, too. Robin was thinking about purchasing a particular dress. She saw a photo of Megan Markle wearing the dress. It was a great dress. She was so unnerved. You know, this girl is tracking her. <laughs> she doesn't know the meaning of it. Does Stevie Wonder did me the same way? As a child, I wanted to uh, get a whole bunch of money from my mother when I found out we didn't have any money. We were paupers. And so my aunt, Andoni, who turns out was Robin, <laughs> um, had me take piano lessons. So one day, shortly after I started taking piano lessons, a woman hit my fingertips. And, oh, I didn't understand that. And so I quit. And Andoni let me quit, which I regretted. And I made Robin take violin from age 5 to 15 when she really wasn't that interested. But she was a good girl, and she obeyed her mother. But I didn't want her to quit violin and be like me, regret it the rest of her life. So anyway, Stevie Wonder comes up with a song, Fingertips, where he gets a whole bunch of money for his mother. See, he took my dream, you see, because I stopped playing the piano and singing. I was singing in the kitchen one day when I was a little girl, five or six years old. My mother called me to her. She was sitting in a chair in the living room. She said, sing me a song. So I sang her a song, and then she motioned for me to go back into the kitchen, which to me meant I cannot sing. So that froze singing out for me. So then here comes Stevie Wonder, 12 years old, with a song where he's playing music and calling the song Fingertips and singing and making money for his mother. He took my dream, you see there? That's the same thing that's happened to Robin. You know, that's what happens. Our children sometimes have the same things happen to them that happen to us. So this 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 um, Meghan Markle, which Robin likes her a lot, you know, but she's everything Robin does, she wants to do, she does. Okay, um, so royal brides wear adorned gowns usually, like Princess Kate had lace. Her, her, her gown was lovely, usually. So Robin had eye contact with Meghan as she and Harry were leaving a service. She was in a car for an African-American who had been killed by the police some years back. It was a big deal in London. They had a service about it, and Megan and Harry went, and Robin went. So they had eye contact. Robin said it was powerful. You know, I've had powerful eye contact. I know the difference between a glazed double look and a powerful look. You know. So Robin lives in London. She is from New York City, USA. I'm still talking about similarities. Megan lives in London. She is from the USA. Robin's mother is part black, raised black, culturally black. Megan's mother is black, culturally black. Robin was raised by a white man, her other father, Michael John Spear. Megan's father is a white man. I don't know his name. I know he wasn't at the wedding. Supposedly, he was ill. Megan, uh, what is that? She knows? Chose. Megan chose her family crest. She chose part of it, as she called Songbird. Robin's mother's name is Mild Red Songbird. See what I'm saying about similarities? So then David Foster asked Michael Buble, are you trying to look more like me or am I trying to look like you? Okay. Okay, that's Michael Buble. 
Let's see. Let me clean it. There it is. Oops. Oops, what happened? Okay. Okay. So then what happened? Um it's a world wide symphony. I am music. I write the songs, sings Barry Manilow. Whoa. Ma, I decoded Manilow. Ma in play. The world is a play. I will hurt. Okay, so Michael, Be Michael Buble hurts Ma. He's been stalking me since I was even. He was Adam. And... Uh, you know, burning me up in one nineteen hundreds, and you know, just hurting me because he was mad because I uh, because Eve. I'll talk about Eve. I'll talk about I and the third person. Eve and Cain is Cain is Baba G the Buddha now. Okay, Darius, that's Miles Red standing there. His mother, Eve. Okay. And so he's God realized now. But anyway, they were, they were lovers because it was the beginning of time and there were no rules and there was nothing wrong. But Adam went berserk. So they started to feel, oh my, did we do something wrong? And, and he raped Eve every night. He broke Cain's arms. Cain wouldn't fight back because that was his father. And he honored his father, so he let him beat him up. He, of course, later he became a samurai soldier. So, you know, he didn't take no shit. Okay, so but Eve ran away. Uh, and Adam's been tracking her ever since. That's what's going on, people are tracking people. What is going on? You know how people say, what's happening? You know, what's going on? You know, Jordan Peterson said there's something more going on than what we think is going on. What is going on is we are tweaking heaven because we're getting ready to ramp into um, eternity. I mean, eternity is going on, but we're getting ready to tweak heaven to really make it perfect. And Vice President Pence who was a prince, said it when he was elect he and um, President Trump were elected. He said, who am I and where is my family? So everybody is looking for themselves and for their family. They don't know how to go about it. Everybody doesn't know how to go about it, however. Gurinda Singh came does know how to go about it and he's found himself and and he's found his family Adam and Eve and he wants to reunite them and he showed Eve how to find herself and he said men had their turn that's Adam and those who followed him it's women's turn now so Gurinder Singh, who is a creator of this, of this perfect heaven I'm telling you about, he's designing it and supervising it. So he has given Eve the power. It's a women's turn. The women follow Eve. So that's what's going on. And um, I have found, for example, let's see, can I find it here? Today I just found another husband. I have found about 25 husbands. Oh, this is blank paper. What happened to that? Let's see, I hate looking for things like this. Where's my secretary? Oh, I don't have one. I'm the secretary. Okay, I can't find it. Is it here? Oh, it's here. Okay, look at this. Glenn Beck Glenn Beck, President George, was President George Washington, okay? A miracle source. 
was General George Washington. I forgive all that white stuff on him. That's my camera. It's a phone camera. It's not your best. It's not a Canon. It's not a Nikon. It's just an Android. But it serves me well. So George Washington was a miracle source. Okay, he, he's responsible for the U.S. winning the war against King George. He was a general. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, I know. So when I met Edwin Birdsong, I decided this is a man I'm going to marry. This is a man I'm going to spend my life with, give my heart to, have my babies by. So he needed a lyricist, so I wrote a lyric. I hope I can remember it now. I said, I would put out the flame. No, I would put out the blaze if the world was in flames just to show you that you're the only one for me. So what does George Washington do? The blaze is his what is that? kiss to his wife, Martha, now Eve, mild red songbird. George Washington didn't want, they wanted him to be king. He didn't want to be king. He wanted to go back to his farm. So in eternity in heaven he can be a farmer and run and oversee Eve's farm. See? Isn't that perfect? That's what we're doing. We're perfecting rewards for the people who have done so much for this heaven because that's America. It's heaven and hell. It's good and bad here. We're going to get rid of the bad and keep the good and tweak the good to perfection. Okay, let me continue. The father of the Constitution, I'm just telling you that Eve is finding her people. Okay, so she was married to President Washington. Okay, the source of the country, she was Martha. Now we go down here. The father of the U.S. Constitution, President James Madison, is now called Lionel Richie. And he sings his love to his wife, Dolly Madison, who's now called Eve. All right, the songs. Three times a lady, three times a first lady, because she was married to three presidents. Endless love. Hello. When I heard that song, it felt so intimate, like he was talking to me. Of course, he was talking to me, but I couldn't believe that because nobody told me that these singers could be talking to you. You know, it sounds impossible. We don't, we don't know who they're talking to, but, you know. The fourth song that I relate to is called Lady. I'm your knight in shining armor. Oh, wow, did that song make me happy. My son, Sing Bird Song, was King Arthur. Uh, and he had the Knights of the Round Table. And he introduced chivalry into the culture. I guess that was England, right? Okay, so this is Je President James Madison. And this is Lionel Richie today. This is James Madison today, Lionel Richie. See? Doesn't he sing so sincerely? Can't you see that he's singing to somebody he loves? Okay, so uh, Lionel Richie was the first artist on television. I realized he's singing to me. I knew that before. I knew that people on television were talking to me, but I couldn't believe it. You know, you can't believe what you see in here unless it's been confirmed by the rest of the culture. But then Michael Bublé, who's Adam, who's, who sings, you're one of a kind. Do you know how scary it is to be one of a kind? But I'm an Aries, a pioneer. I can handle that. But only because Govinda Singh, my son, came. Where is he? Where are you? There you are. Has been with me. What he did was, he teaches spirituality, so he knows all about it. He's mystic. What he did was, he took residence in my brain behind the pineal gland. 
this is what Radhasami Faith does for all of their disciples. I'm not the only one, but he's done that. And so he's with me 24 hours and available to answer any questions, grant any wish, I, I confirm anything, make sure I'm working on finding the people suitable for heaven, you know, like that. So this is just a power of God. It's, it's, it's unfathomably powerful. Okay, so, so I just wanted you to know that I've been looking for my past loves, and I'm finding them, okay? I could go on. You know, Blake Sheldon was one of my husbands. We would say Darius. He was one of my husbands. You see, he got this tattoo of tracks and a tie. Uh, what's it name? Adam has been tracking me and tying me down. Okay, so it's a worldwide symphony. In other words, I can hear something on... I can hear Glenn Beck creating the blaze as a kiss for Martha. And then I can hear... Michael Bublé, and, and then I could, and then I could see Meghan Markle copying Queen Victoria Elizabeth the first, and um, you, you connect the dots. You know, I can connect. Oh, then I can see. Okay, so she obviously wants to be Queen Victoria, which already was the Queen Victoria already was. And so David Foster says to Bublé, do you want to be me? You see the Worldwide Symphony thing there? It's, it's the same thing. Michael Bublé is Adam. And then Adam says, if he marries Amy, a Foster's child, he could be a real Foster child. We're looking for our homes. He has no home, and he wrote a song, a hit song, that he sings. I'm telling you, these things really look like coincidences. They are not. He sings a song with Blake Sheldon. He sings a song with Blake Sheldon, Home. And when they're both singing, I want to go home. See, everybody's looking for their home for eternity. Nobody wants to be without a home. And they're looking for the home of their family, their loves. Who wants to spend eternity with strangers, with people you have no feelings for? You understand? Okay, so I'll finish reading. I wrote this so I could speak to you in an organized way. So I did the Manilow things. Past life, 